Here's a quick tutorial that will show you how to uh, customize your Pac-Man uh, to various forms. Uh, what I've got here is an image of Ms. Pac-Man just to uh, give us an idea of what we should do. Uh, we'll, we can click on Pac-Man and we want to make a duplicate and then we're going to give it the duplicate symbol name uh, Ms. Pac-Man. Click on OK. Uh, so you can double click on Ms. Pac-Man and you can see that it has still the same animation sequence uh, that Pac-Man does. But uh, what we can do is just to make some adjustments to this, uh, you can add a layer on and uh, we'll just call this one Ms. Uh, because this one will be the Ms. Pac-Man elements. Um, basically um, all we need to do here is put a bow on do an eye uh, beauty mark and then uh, lipstick so uh, we can do that fairly easily uh, just using the brush tool uh, and then a couple shapes uh, so what we'll do for the uh, brush on top we can use the poly star tool so we'll make it out of a couple triangles um, each with the outside color of black and the inside color of red. Go to properties. Um, we'll go to the tool options because we really want to make triangles so we'll make a uh, sides of three um, and we'll make sure that it's on polygon instead of star. Uh, so what we can do is just click and drag to make a triangle. Uh, and we need two of these, so we'll uh, paste. And then you can combine these. Uh, so I'll just make sure that they're in the right orientation using the free transform tool. So I'll just rotate this a bit. And then move it into place. Uh, okay, and then we'll also rotate this whole thing so that we can put it on top. There we go, I'm satisfied with that. So you can put that here. Uh, then for the eye, you can simply use the brush tool, black, um, to put an eye here and a beauty mark. The uh, pupil is blue. So we'll draw that underneath here. There we go. And then we need some uh, red lipstick. So uh, you can just freehand this uh, if you feel confident with your skills. Um, but I'm pretty satisfied with that, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, now, the one thing that does change from frame to frame uh, is how wide the mouth is. So you can see uh, that those lips will only actually match on the uh, frames three, uh, sorry, frames two and four. So uh, what we'll do is we'll put keyframes on all of the Ms. Uh, layer items. Insert keyframe. And then on any of the ones where they don't match, I'm just going to delete those and then redraw them as well on the first frame. So we can use the brush tool. And do something like that. And then on the third frame, you can uh, freehand them. This is where they're supposed to go. Uh, there we go. So that's uh, just a quick how you would uh, customize this based on which character it is. Uh, of course, there's also a junior Pac-Man that you would need to put a propeller hat on and make smaller. Uh, and the super Pac-Man is usually just a, a very large one. Um, so you can use this method of duplicating the original symbol and then doing some customization for other graphics.